Hey everyone, in case you are new here, I'm Klau and I welcome you to Cozy Pixels. I'm very excited today because today's video is a very special one. I don't know if you remember guys, but um, I said I think like a month or two ago in one of my videos that I'm planning to do a special project for this channel. And finally we are here and I introduce you to Wakefield, which is a custom neighborhood I built for you guys to download and try it out for yourself. The whole neighborhood is absolutely custom content free so you can just download it and plop it into your game you don't need to download almost any i'm not saying you don't need to download absolutely anything but the neighborhood itself doesn't have any cc in it in this video i just want to give you a bit of an overview about the families of the town the community lots and show you how you can install the neighborhood for yourself so let's start with the families our first family in the neighborhood is the Burns family. This is their house and the family consists of Rosemary and her little daughter Kathy who are living in this small house together after the unfortunate passing of Rose's husband. I actually like this house a lot. I don't consider myself much of a builder but um, in this neighborhood I think I did, I did great. <laughs> so yeah, little Kathy's aspiration is grow up as every kid in The Sims 2. Rosemary's aspiration is popularity. I think that's all you should know at the first place. I don't really want to spoiler anything about the neighborhood, so let's just move on to the next family. Our next one is the Larson family, and in this household we only have Roy, who is a very laid-back guy. He loves life. He just goes with the flow in every situation in life, basically, um, and his aspiration is pleasure. He lives in this one bedroom house. All his furniture is quite modern. As you can see in Roy's bio, Roy never took life too serious. He finds worrying about things a waste of time and acts accordingly. He likes meeting new people and exploring the world. All of the sims have a bio in the neighborhood and all of them has this little uh, story mode taken care of. So if you want to look up their past, before you jump in playing their future, you can absolutely do that. Next one. Here we have the Morales family, Zachary and Bean. They are living in this huge house. Zachary is actually the son of the former mayor of Fakefield and therefore everyone in the city loves him and knows him. And he's just in general a very nice and sweet and genuine person. He lives with Bean in this big house because their parents died and now he has to decide what to do with his life on his own. His aspiration is popularity, he has a very nice reputation. His bio says, as the son of the former mayor of Wakefield and in general being a nice and caring person, Zach earned quite the reputation in the small town. But what next? There is a second floor where his old childhood bedroom stands now completely empty so you can do whatever you want with that and you can find out the rest if you play the neighborhood i really don't want to spoil anything so let's just jump to the next one and here we are at kimbra underwood's house who is as you can see an alien girl actually she is the sister of kirk underwood who we will see later in the introductions so this is her home she lives here alone after finishing university and after the death of her father her bio says Kimbra was always very cheerful and she loves life. Maybe it has to do something with that her origins are from another planet. Maybe it's just her personality. Her childhood wasn't perfect with a stepmother and a brother who hated her, but she had a loving father who taught her to always be her best self. Basically, Kimbra and Kirk are brother and sister, and their father got abducted by aliens when Kirk was still a little kid, therefore they had Kimbra, so Kirk's mother didn't really love Kimbra and Kirk didn't really love her either because he thought that their father loved her much more than his son. Her aspiration is pleasure just like Roy's. He's really a cheerful person who loves other people and loves talking to others. That's it about Kimbra, let's see the next family. We have the Perkins family home here with Sarah and Brad. They recently moved here to the city because Brad wants to have a family and a peaceful life. His aspiration is family, obviously, because, um, because he really wants to have a peaceful family life in the small town of Wakefield. In the meantime, Sarah's aspiration is romance. They are together since they were teens, they met in high school. Brad's bio says, Brad is a hardworking and loving pal, just like his father. He loves helping others. He dreams of having a big family and being a great father like his old man was. Sarah's bio says, 
Sarah was never a small town girl. Being at the center of attention was a huge part of her life since her childhood. Will the move to Wakefield change that? You can see if you play the neighborhood. <laughs> I'm really curious what do you guys will think about this. This is actually my first custom neighborhood with a storyline. So I'm very excited to, to hear what you guys think. Let's move to the last family. Finally, here we are at the Underwood family home. Here Kimbra's brother lives with his family, his wife and his three kids. His wife is Brooke and the kids are Benjamin, Dan and Shirley. And I know guys that Brooke looks like Bella Goth and I swear it wasn't on purpose, okay? My love for Bella just came to the surface and unconsciously I made a sim looking like her, so I'm very sorry. Let's just call it a tribute, okay? Kirk's aspiration is knowledge, Brooke's aspiration is popularity, is Benjamin's aspiration and the two kids don't have aspirations yet. Kirk's bio says, Kirk had a troubling childhood with his father neglecting him in favor of his sister and the continuous tension between his par parents. Since then, life wasn't easy on him either, but he worked hard to achieve everything in life. Well, everything. Mm. I wonder what it could be. <laughs> Sorry guys, I know I'm annoying. Uh, Brooke Spio says, Brooke was always a very social sim, heart of the party. She loves talking about the current issues of the sim world, like politics. She wants to be a famous athlete so she can use her influence to make an impact in the world. I imagine her being very open, very activist kind of sim. And we have Kirk, who is the a bit more antisocial scientist type of sim. Now that we saw all the families, let's see the community lots. First of all, we have a restaurant lot, which I created for your sims to have nice dinners, maybe proposals. It's not a big community lot, but basically it has a terrace area, indoors dining area, a small bathroom and kitchen. And another little table here, which I imagine like um, if someone just wants to drink a coffee here in the morning or something, they can do that. This is the second one. This is a pet shop, but I also have stray animals in the neighborhood, so you can adopt as well. Basically here you can adopt pets and buy colors and everything. And I made it like, so if you have open for business and you want to buy this as a business, then you have all these pet related stuff that your sim can sell. You can also grill outside because we all know that every community lot needs to have some grill options because otherwise our sims will starve. Next one. I think this is my favorite community lot in the whole neighborhood. I was never really great building community pools, but this turned out so great. I think we have two type of pools. We have a jacuzzi here, a lot of space to rest and eat and rewind a little playground for the kids. And we have a small restaurant dinner type of area here where your sims can eat and also the dressing rooms are here and the bathrooms. I think it looks very nice. I'm very satisfied with this one. And yeah, it has a nice blue roof. So I think it looks very cool. We have this one as well, which I call the bookshop, but it's more like a library. Your sims can read, there are bathrooms, they can hide in the corner with a great book. And on the upstairs, we have computers. So if they need to do some university work or something, they can always come here. So yeah, it's basically just a library. If your sims need some skilling, which they can't do at home, they can always come here. And obviously no neighborhood can stay without a clothing shop. So we have this small, you can buy clothes here, jewelry, perfume, and here we have the changing boots and the mirror for your sims to check themselves out, bathrooms, and here we have the grilling area, as I said, and the little playground for the kids, and this small bus stop, which I actually love. I don't know why, but I just love this bus stop. <laughs> here, the mini market it has a bus stop as well. I love bus stops. Your sims can come here and buy food for themselves if they don't want to order or they just want to chat with their neighbors in the mini market. See here we have the vegetables and here we have the frozen products and the bathrooms. But yeah, this would be the small mini market. Your sims can always buy this community lot if they want to run a business. We have the community park here. It basically has four sections. This one is for eating and chilling and playing Mishuno. This one is a small football field. You see we have the benches so people can sit and watch. This one is the logic area with a small pond and the statue. I always imagine these statues in the parks as the statue of the founder 
of the neighborhood and we have the kids playing area here and the toilets in the back. I'm not great with building parks, I have to tell you. I always have an issue on how to arrange them, but I think this one is quite nice. Feel free to make over anything, guys. Also, a wedding venue for your sims to get married. We have a little dance floor here with a DJ. They can actually get married here with the wedding arch and inside they can have nice dinners. It looks like a small church, but it's not really a church after all. You can have weddings on community lots if you if you create a casual group and invite them on a community lot and dig the wedding arch and do the wedding. This way your sims want to have a wedding party, won't fulfill, but you can get expensive items as wedding gifts. And finally, we have cemetery in Wakefield where you can find all dead sims from the neighborhood. Please do not delete the tombstones under any circumstances. You can also see that there is this small church area inside. It's absolutely just a decoration basically. And yeah, if your sims like to see ghosts, they can come here. Also, as I said before, every sim has a proper character file. So if you want to bring them back to life, you can absolutely do that. Whatever floats your boat. That would be a short or not so short introduction into Wakefield. Now I just want to quickly walk you through on how to install the neighborhood into your game. In the description of the video, you can find the link to my Tumblr where I created an install and introduction guide for you guys. So first of all, please click that link and you will find this page that I'm showing you right now on the screen. And as you can see, you can download the Wakefield neighborhood here which is a sims file share link. But if you find any problem with that, or you just prefer another hosting site, then we have a media fire and a Dropbox link here. This is the same file. I just want to make sure that it's available at any time. Requirements to the neighborhood is that it requires all expansion and stuff packs because I built it in game and I didn't realize that you will have to have all the expansion and stuff packs I have. If you have the ultimate collection, just like I do, you are totally fine to go. Also because the neighborhood includes custom events, which, you know, they are the little pop-up thingies from Pleasant View that when you first start the neighborhood, it gives you a bit of text or something that you need to do. This neighborhood features four custom events in four families. So if you want to have them, click here and download. Also, I recommend you to download the No Region mods, which is the No Town Region, Anti Redundancy and No Stray Respawn. This way you can avoid Goopy and the other ugly townies to show up in your game because originally I deleted all of them and created a few of my own custom townies. So after you have all of these, you need to install. After you downloaded the Wakefield file, you need to extract it into your documents, the Sims or Ultimate Collection if you have that, and Neighborhoods folder. My neighborhood is numbered N007. This means that you are fine to go if you have less than four custom neighborhoods, I think. But if you already have a neighborhood exact same way, please do not overwrite. Let me know and I can renumber the neighborhood for you. After you downloaded the custom script, you have to extract it into your documents, the Sims 2 and downloads folder, where usually you put all your CC. This mod is not required after you finish the first rotation because all it does is that the pop-ups show up the first time you play the game. So after you don't need it anymore, you can freely delete it if you want. If you try the neighborhood out, please let me know how you like it. I would love to see pictures or videos on what you do with the neighborhood. You can reach me via Tumblr or in the Discord server down below. If you have any feedback or bug reports, please let me know in the Discord because I'm available there almost 24 seven. If you write me on Tumblr, there's a chance I might not see it immediately. I hope you guys like this one. I'm very excited about this, finally putting this out into the world. I was working very hard in the last three months, I think, to get this right. This is my first one, so it might not be perfect, but I hope you guys will like it. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for showing interest in this neighborhood. If you like this one, you might as well subscribe to the channel and join the Discord server so we can talk about the neighborhood and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!